Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to give you a walkthrough and overview on how to access Canvas if you're a BCSE elementary student. Know that the BCSE elementary experience in Canvas, our district-wide learning management system, is slightly different than the experience our middle school and high school students will have. The BCSE elementary Canvas is simplified for navigation, the icons are larger, and the font is basically set up to where it's a little bit easier for our early learners to access their materials. Designing to Canvas is really easy. If your student is already on their BCSE issued Chromebook, they're technically already signed into Canvas. Canvas will use your student's BCSE Google account to log in. It'll be their full BCSE account email and their password. If you're confused about what your student's full account email might be or their password, you can connect with your student's classroom teacher. To access Canvas, I'll need to open Google Chrome. To open Google Chrome on a Chromebook, it's at the bottom of my toolbar or on the left-hand side of the toolbar if my student has changed some of their settings. If you're on a home computer or home device, you can still access Canvas, but you just need to make sure you're in Google Chrome. If you're accessing from a mobile device, there is a Canvas student mobile app. To access Canvas, it's really very, very simple. There are several ways you can access Canvas once you're in Google Chrome. The first way is that if I open a new tab in Chrome, there's the BCSE bookmark bar. If I click the bookmark bar, Canvas is one of those bookmarks. So if I click this link, it will take me into Canvas and sign me in. Another way I can access Canvas is through my Google Apps menu. If I click the Apps menu in Chrome and scroll down the page, I'll select Canvas. Make sure you don't click Canva, that is a different tool. We'll select Canvas. It has an orangish background with a little bit of red hinted in it. Additionally, I can access Canvas from my school website as well, or the district website. If I pull up bcseschools.org or my elementary school website, there's a Canvas button that has been added to every homepage. It's right below the video. If I scroll down the page, it's beside PowerSchool. So if I click Canvas, I can sign into Canvas from there. Another way that I can technically access Canvas is also just by typing in our BCSC Canvas website URL, which is bcsc.instructure.com. If I use any of those methods, it's going to sign me into Canvas. When I'm signed into Canvas, I'm always taken to this screen first, which is my home. My home is where I can access all of my courses as well as other important information as a BCSC elementary student. The home in Canvas has colorful course cards here for my teacher's classes. I want to get into this class and see my resources, my activities, and any comments my teacher has made for me, including feedback on my assignments. I'll click the card and it takes me right into that particular subject or course. Other important things to know on this screen. On the left hand side is our main or our global navigation menu in Canvas. The account button allows me to set my profile picture, configure my notifications, and view any other accessibility settings that I would like to turn on, including closed captions and access to larger links. I click the sub if I click the home button, that's where I'm going to be taken onto this screen. The subjects button in Canvas is also another helpful resource. The subjects button in Canvas shows me all of my classes that I'm enrolled in just in a list format instead of the colorful course cards. So I can technically get to my classes from the subjects menu as well. The calendar in Canvas will show me all of my upcoming events and deadlines. As the school year goes on, anytime a teacher makes an assignment in Canvas, it has to have a due date. And the due dates will pop up here on the calendar. I'll have different calendars made for my different courses and I can even color code them if I would like so it's easy for me to distinguish which one is which. The inbox tool in Canvas is where I can send messages to my teacher to ask for help and where my teacher might send announcements to me. If I want to compose a new message, I'll just click the pencil button to compose a new message, which is located at the top of my toolbar. I can type in my teacher's name. If I've already gotten messages from my teacher, they'll be displayed on this screen and I can respond to them. I can send text in my message. I can also record audio and video as well as attach links and other files should I need to. Further down on this left-hand navigation bar, history will show me the recent websites or pages I have viewed on Canvas, and the help button is a great way to access training resources on the Canvas student experience if I need additional help and I've gotten stuck. Now what we're going to do is open our home menu and practice going into a course in Canvas. When I'm on my homeroom, there is my classes that are gonna show up right here in the middle of the screen. 
Schedule will show me any upcoming assignments and due dates I need to be mindful of. And then resources might be some additional websites the district has available for me. Important dates will also show up over here to reflect any assignments, quizzes, and similar assessments. To jump into a course, I'll just click the name of the course or click the card. It'll open the course and take me to a similar look every time I sign in. Whenever I click my course, this is the layout in Canvas Elementary View. I'll have a large picture across the top that will show the name of the course and my teacher's names. At the top of the screen, I might see some announcements. Announcements in Canvas are messages the teacher sends out to remind you of due dates, field trips, and similar news. My home button on my Canvas course will take me to the home page for this particular course or subject. Schedule will show me the calendar of upcoming events for this particular subject or class. Modules is where I can access my lesson resources, but the feature you're probably going to be viewing the most is a little bit further down the page. Further down the page is the home page my teacher has set up for me. This home page will have important information, including a welcome message from the teacher, as well as some helpful links to digital textbooks, websites, and resources. These links are set up as clickable icon buttons. So if I click any one of these buttons, it will open this link in a new tab and give me access to my online textbook and resources the teacher has created for me. The modules button in a course is a way that teachers can organize their lesson materials and assignments. If I click modules, I can see information my teacher has configured for me. If I click into any one of these modules or any one of these resources, it'll go into a full screen mode. Modules in Canvas are just a term for organizing your lessons, and they're set up in a way to where students go through the resources step by step. So an example here is I click the name of the resource and it takes me into the view for this particular module resource, which is a helpful guide for students on how to access Canvas. I'll scroll through and view all the information on the page, and then to move to the next step, if there is one, there'll be a next button, and I can click this to move through the module. If at any point in time, I need to go back to the home page for the course, I'll click back to subject. If I wanna open a helpful accessibility tool that can translate content for me, read content aloud to me so I can read with my ears and adjust the font style, size and colors, I can open Immersive Reader. We have additional resources that will walk you through the amazing features within this tool. To go back to the home page, I'll click back to subject and now I'm back on my home screen. If you have any questions about using Canvas for elementary, please connect with your classroom teacher or BCSE Tech and we are happy to help. We hope you have a wonderful school year and are excited to be using this new tool.